A long-awaited report on Russian interference in the UK's democracy is finally out after a nine-month wait. What is the Russia Report? It was put together by the UK's Parliament's Intelligence and Security Committee, otherwise known as the ISC, which oversees the work of the UK's intelligence agencies like MI5 and MI6. In 2018, the group, which is made up of MPs and peers from different parties, was tasked with examining possible Russian interference in UK democracy. Why was the report commissioned? Historically, the relations between UK and Russia have never been simple, but over recent years they've become increasingly difficult because of the UK's stand against Russia's interventions abroad, like its war against Georgia in 2008, the annexation of Crimea in 2014, but also deaths on UK soil. In 2006, there was the assassination of Alexander Litvinenko, a former KGB agent who fled to England after criticising Russia. He was poisoned with a radioactive substance. An inquiry found it was likely approved by senior Russian officials. But relations reached an all-time low after the poisoning of former Russian military intelligence officer Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia in Salisbury in 2018. They were poisoned with a deadly nerve agent, Novichok, and whilst they both survived, a woman named Dawn Sturgis died after coming into contact with the nerve agent. Theresa May, who was the Prime Minister at the time, said, There is no alternative conclusion other than that the Russian state was culpable for the attempted murder. She warned that Britain would not tolerate such a brazen attempt to murder innocent civilians on our soil, and in retaliation, expelled 23 Russian diplomats. Russia denied any involvement in the poisonings. The subject of Russian interference became a primary focus of the ISC in 2018. The report has been ready since October 2019. So why has the report only come out now? Boris Johnson received criticism for not publishing the report when he got it back in October. He only gave final sign-off after he won the general election last December. The Intelligence and Security Committee was not sitting then, so it could not be made public until a new ISC was formed. Fast forward to July 2020, when a new committee was formed, and they decided the report should be published. So, what does the report say? One of the key points the report says is that Russia poses an immediate threat to the UK's national security and that Britain is one of Russia's top intelligence targets in the Western world, not just to steal secrets, but to create disunity in the West. Did Russia interfere with UK elections or referendums? The report concludes that there is credible evidence suggesting that Russia carried out influence campaigns to attempt to discredit the Scottish independence referendum in 2014. However, despite what many people were expecting from this report, the committee could not categorically say whether there was interference in the EU referendum or the 2019 UK general election. Not because there was no evidence, but only because the government did not seek to investigate it. And this was one of the main points the committee made. Despite knowing about the interference in the Scottish referendum, they questioned why the government didn't ask any questions about meddling in Brexit or previous elections, and in doing so, let the UK down. The committee says the government took its eye off the ball when it came to the threat of Russian interference. What else does the report say? The committee believes that Russian influence in the UK is the new normal, with oligarchs welcomed with open arms. They said there are a lot of Russians with very close links to Russia's President Vladimir Putin who are well integrated into the UK business and social scene and accepted because of their wealth. Whilst the influence will be hard to untangle, they recommended that relationships need to be scrutinised. For example, there should be full transparency between members of the House of Lords and Russian businesses. The report is critical of social media companies, saying they must take action to remove what it calls covert hostile state material from their platforms. 
What's the reaction been to the report? The UK government responding to the report rejected the committee's call to investigate whether there had been any Russian interference in the EU referendum, saying that they have seen no evidence of any successful interference. And Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon says she has no objection to an inquiry being launched into Russian interference in the Scottish independence referendum. What about other examples of Russian interference? Ahead of the release of the Russia report last week, the government said we believe we know with reasonable confidence that Russian actors were involved in trying to interfere with the 2019 election. The documents at the time were picked up by the then Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn to back his claim that the Conservatives were trying to sell off the NHS. However, Russia has denied any attempt to interfere with the election. And of course, there was the meddling in the 2016 US presidential election. An investigation by former FBI director Robert Mueller found that Russian hackers and trolls targeted social media networks and political organisations to try to influence the vote. Given Russia's previous attempts at interference over the past few years, both here and abroad, the Intelligence and Security Committee believe the UK government badly underestimated the threat from Moscow and didn't take enough action to counter the threat.